Telly Savingos is a Huntington, West Virginia native and the hardworking business owner of Victor's Cleaners, a staple of Huntington that is more than 100 years old. Telly is a friend and colleague to many, a son, brother, husband, and father. He is a giver to his church and to his customers. Uh, we do have, I, our family in particular has a, a very rich uh, Greek heritage because uh, my one set of parents are from Sparta and the other set of uh, parent, grandparents were from Tenedos. I got this for us. It has our names engraved and the year that Orthodoxy began is 33 AD. And so um, Orthodoxy, Greek Orthodoxy is big in our family. The, the, my, my children and a lot of the children of the church do embrace their heritage and, it, and it's up to us to pass that heritage on down to them. <laughs> time that we were born, uh, always, always Greek dance, um, always becoming a church. Uh, family has always just been instilled in us and, and about our heritage and just and being able to, you know, show that to, to the community and to, I mean, everyone we come in contact with. Yeah, uh, he would always tell me how important it was to let everybody know about our heritage because it's not every day you meet a Greek, so. And uh, a lot of them were uh, my children, my nieces, my nephews, my goddaughter. Uh, and then the other kids at the church, uh, but, but they dance, you know, I, I, I call it dance professionally because they train and, 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 and dance on Sundays and practice and practice and practice so that they're all on the same footing. Now, I mean, I, I love it. Um, I mean, I, we go to different communities and dance and people love our dancing. I mean, just, just our parents, uh, our father, uh, really, really just all of this, especially the Greek Festival with the booth that he runs, he's been doing that. And actually this year, um, Lambros and I some are learning exactly how to take that over and run that. Um, and so we can keep that, that going. And dancing is a big part of it, and music is a big part of it, because, um, you know, dancing's usually, you know, uh, parties and the joyous occasions, weddings, uh, baptisms, and those are uh, big sacramental days, you know, for us to celebrate. I mean, he's, if there's ever been a time where we've been almost embarrassed about being Greek, he's always shown us that, that the pride of it and, yeah. just, and just being able to just show that and, and wear it, wear it on your sleeve. I mean, you know, wear it with confidence. And, and from doing that, everyone else just kind of follows and they're just like, that's awesome. I want to do that. March 28th, uh, 2013, I went in for a heart surgery, five bypasses. And, you know, that went well. They did some blood work and uh, they did a bone marrow biopsy. And uh, the doctors came in on a Friday and told me I had multiple myeloma. And I said, well, what's that? And they said it was cancer. And uh, uh, that was hard to handle. Telly has been hospitalized for nine of the last 15 months. There were some really tough times. You know, I lost about 60 pounds, you know, and I was uh, extremely weak and you know, I was flat on my back for, uh, from April to no, almost November. I didn't really walk by myself until a week before Thanksgiving. And uh, your perspective of life changes a lot, you know, that what's, uh, you don't sweat the small stuff anymore. You, you know, you don't get uh, your... Um... This disease worsened daily to the point where he could no longer walk or do the simplest of tasks without excruciating pain. My oldest sister came and babysat me. My brothers took me to Cincinnati, you know, uh, for uh, uh, chemo and plasmapheresis, which I can't get done in Huntington. Um, my... Um, uh, they all, in, in one way or another, pitched in, you know, to, to, to help out and, do, and get me through it. You know, the cards were a huge plus because, you know, I had some pretty down moments in Cincinnati. And, uh, and my wife put the cards on the wall and it covered the wall from ceiling to floor. And that was, um, that was amazing. Due to the insurmountable medical expenses, friends, family, and community members decided to raise funds to assist with the family's tremendous financial burden. 
and they called themselves Telly's Titans. On August 2nd, 2014, the Telethon became a reality. So we're here to let him know we love him, we're here to encourage him, and we wanted the community to come out and say, Telly, we got your back, we love you, we're propping you up. Uh, they were all, you know, Telly's Titans, which, you know, are all my little soldiers, my supporters, my cheering section. And of course, the moment we've all been waiting for, our guest of honor, the epitome of a Greek god who has beat all the odds and continues to fight every single day with every ounce of his being. It was, uh, you know, because we didn't, I, we didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. I kind of had to just, you know, go along with it. And when we actually got into the building, um, it was just overwhelming. The, the people that were there, and uh, you know, I had no idea that many people would, would would show up. He is a warrior, and we are his titans. Please stand, please stand, and give a warm welcome to Aristotle Tully Flamingos. I was dropping f bombs. Okay, I was completely flabbergasted by uh, the proclamation that uh, Mayor Williams um, bestowed upon me. For another ten years, and an, an ordained reader and a co-chairman of the annual Greek festival for twenty years, whereas Tilly has been a wonderful friend to many in this room and has made a positive in positive difference in countless lives, especially those of his children. Whereas Tilly has been a loving and supporting husband and father to his wife and soulmate, Janet Compton Savingos, for 28 years and to his four beautiful children. Now therefore, I, Steve Williams, Mayor of the City of Huntington, Cabell, and Wayne Counties, do hereby proclaim the second day of August to be Aristotle Tilly Savingos Day. <laughs> He kept reading and reading and reading, and you know, I was going, where did you find all this stuff? And uh, it was just all the accomplishments uh, from high school to present day that I've uh, accomplished in my life. And, uh, if you could handpick all the friends that you ever wanted to be with and around, they were there. And we had a million people calling us, we didn't even have to go after people, they were calling us to donate and be corporate sponsors and food vendors and Charlie's Holly Davidson gave us this great facility for nothing, they've just been unbelievable. You know, I, I talked about faith. His faith is strong and he believes that the grace of God, the love and prayers of all his wonderful family, friends, and community have carried him through. Your perspective of family, you know, is, is, is really what's important. Uh, and, and, you know, you spend as much time as you can, you know, with your children and your wife and your, and your cousins and, and your friends. Um, you know, you make time because uh, life could be pretty short. Yeah, when, when, we, when we walked in the door and Sandra was announcing everyone, um, you know, from, from the, the DJ flow, the, the, the music that, that, that he played, and it was our music from, you know, back in the day, um, to, the, to the dancers. Oh, very, very festive, very upbeat, um, a lot of love. A lot of love, but it was uh, just utterly amazing, the, uh, the support from our friends, all your friends, and everybody who had ever done anything nice for you, and vice versa, they were there. And that it, it just kept going in my mind, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, they're here, they're here, they're here. You know, people I don't get to see very often, people from out of town, from out of state. Um, and that's, that, that was what kept going on in my mind. We love you, Telly, so keep up the good fight because Telly's Titans have always got your back. We're your Titans. We love you. And I can honestly say that he's one of the finest men that I have ever met. We're so proud of you. You're an inspiration to us all. Uh, 
more than anything else, your heart is representative of Huntington. And um, we just want to say three words to you. We love you. Kelly, we love you. Janet, we love you. Simone, Lambros, Lexi. We love you, Telly. Love you so much. Hey, Telly, 40 years goes by really quick at Sig Epps at that fraternity house. We love you. Get well soon. Love you, Telly. We love you, Telly. Prayers going up. Love you, man. Telly, we love you. We came all the way from Emerald Isle to Richmond, from Richmond to Huntington. Get well. You're the best. Love you, and uh, good luck to all the family, and well wishes for the future. Uh, I mean, thank you for everything you've always shown us, given us, uh, instilled in us, and all the values, and, and, and showing us how to not be just a good person, but a, but a good Christian, and, and being able to, to you know, one day instill that into our children, and, uh, and, and with pride. Uh, that's, that's huge, Dad, and, and, uh, and we love you for that, and thank you very much, and uh, I can never, never... <laughs> Explain to you how much that means. Uh, I just hope I find a man that's <laughs> like you and me. <laughs> I just want to say that I'm honored to be your daughter. Yeah, you're Superman, Dad. You're my hero, man. You're all of our heroes. And we love you. Seriously. We love you. You know, in my case, I've been given a second chance. Um, I weighed 180 pounds last summer, and today I weigh 240. Um, you know, I love you guys. Uh, you've, you've been so supportive and miss you. Thank you for support. Thank you for your love. Um, thank you for your faith in me. Thank you for your prayers uh, because that's, what, um, that's what's kept me going. And really it's by, just by the grace of God that I'm even here. And um, I think he's, he's heard you know, the prayers from all my friends. And he says, you know, this guy's worth saving. Got some, got some more stuff for him to do.